welcome to another video. Text to application is something I have been covering recently, mainly because it's really cool. However, there's one issue, especially with Maestro, and that's you cannot use these generated applications with existing code bases. After something is generated, you cannot ask it to make amendments because it only allows you to generate the application once. If you want more features, you either have to make the changes yourself or start from scratch, which is quite a hassle. Many of you have pointed out this issue in my videos. Another thing is that sometimes Maestro can be unreliable. It may not write files and other necessary components, which can be an issue. If it doesn't write everything due to some reasons, all your API usage will be wasted, costing you a ton. Additionally, the Maestro framework can go off on tangents, wasting your API tokens and money. But today, I have something that can fix these issues for you, and that's Ader. I covered it in one of my previous videos, but in a co-pilot style, explaining how you can use it to make amendments to your code. Recently, I saw that Ader has launched its own benchmarks and is now capable of creating whole applications with one prompt. Since it's an interactive environment, you can ask for more changes even after the application has been generated. You can also use it with your old code base and ask it to explain things. I also mentioned it in the Claude Engineer video. It's basically like Claude Engineer, but insanely better. Ader allows you to pair program with LLMs to edit code in your local Git repository. You can start a new project or work with an existing Git repo. It works with almost all LLMs you can think of. I'll be using it with Claude, 3.5 Sonnet, and DeepSeek Coder for local usage because they rank among the top in their leaderboards, which is quite cool. So, let's check it out. First, I'll try it out with Claude. Then we'll try it with the local model. Let's get Ader installed. To do that, just run this pip install Ader chat command. This will install Ader on your computer. Since we'll be using the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model, we'll need to set the anthropic API key variable in our environment like this. You can put your API key in this command after the equal sign. Now, because I'll be using it from scratch, I'll create a new folder. Inside the folder, I'll run the git initialize command because Ader only works on git projects. Once done, we can now use Ader with the Ader command combined with the sonnet parameter. Once you run it, you'll see this interface. You can ask it anything, and it will do that. I'll use the same prompts that we use with all such applications. So, let's ask it to make a snake game. Okay, let's send the prompt over here. As you can see, it has started the generation. It shows everything on the screen, including the code diffs. Let's wait for a bit. A few minutes later. Okay, the code is now generated. It has created three files and made a git commit, which is pretty cool. This is similar to Maestro, but even better. Now let's look at it. Okay, this looks pretty good and works fine as well. However, some things are missing, like the start game button and a pop-up when the game ends. Let's ask Ader to add these things. You can just ask it in the same chat, and it will do that. So, let's send the prompt over here. Okay, as you can see, it is generating. Let's wait for a bit. A few minutes later. Okay, it's done now. As you can see, it shows the edits it has made and also commits the changes. Now let's look at it. Okay, this looks cool. It has made the changes, and the button and pop-up are all here now. This is quite cool because, with Maestro, you couldn't ask for further changes. But now, this is pretty cool. I think it's better than Maestro so far. Now, let's ask it to make a to-do app as well. Let's send the prompt over here. Okay, it's getting generated. Let's wait for a bit. A few minutes later. Okay, it's now generated. 
everything's arranged as expected. Let's look at it. Okay, this looks pretty basic. You can create tasks and delete them, but nothing else. Let's ask it to add the edit and mark as complete buttons. Okay, over here, I am sending the prompt to add the edit and mark as complete buttons. It's getting generated now. Let's wait. A few minutes later. Okay, it's done now. Let's look at it. Okay, as you can see, now we have all the options here. We have the edit and mark as complete options, which is quite cool. This refinement option that you get with Ader is quite cool because after the first generation, you can keep refining it until you get what you want. It's pretty cool. Let's also try creating a landing page with it. Okay, I have sent the prompt over here. Let's wait for a bit. A few minutes later. Okay, the code is now generated. Let's look at it. This is very basic. It has the About Us and Contact links, but nothing else. Let's ask it to add those separate pages and links. Okay, it's doing it. Let's wait. A few minutes later. Okay, it's done now. Let's look. Okay, it has done this. It is capable of generating multiple page and file applications. Ader is really better than Maestro in almost every way. Now, let me also show you how you can use it with Olama. First, go to Olama's site, click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once done, go to the models page and choose the model you want to use. I'll be using the DeepSeq Coder V2 model. So, I'll select that. Now, paste it in your terminal, and it will start getting installed. Once it has been installed, you'll see this chat interface. Go ahead and send a message to check if it works. Once done, run this command. This will set the Olama path in your environment. Once done, you can now use the models with this command. After the slash, you'll need to enter the model name. Now, you can use it with that. Let's create a Minesweeper game with it. Okay, it's creating it. Let's wait. A few minutes later. Okay, it's now created. Let's run it and see. Okay, this looks fine and works as well, which is pretty cool considering it's made with a local model. Let me know if you want a full video where I try it out in depth with these local models. Overall, Ader is really cool. I prefer it over Maestro because it can not only create things, but also refine them. It's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.